there, it's Liz from Arrow Acres, and I'm gonna show you how to front post and back post double crochet today. So I just have a foundation row and I have some double crochets, a row of double crochets, and now we're gonna do front posts and back posts on these. So I think we'll do a row of front and then a row of back and then maybe some of each, okay? So you can alternate them any way you want. So for a front post double crochet, you start like a regular double crochet, you wrap your hook. Now we're not gonna be working in the V's at the top like you normally do. We're gonna work around the post, which is this piece here, this upright. So for a front post, we are going to take our hook, I've already wrapped it, and I'm gonna insert it from the right to the left, and the, the post is gonna be on the front of my hook. Now I'm gonna grab my yarn, and I'm gonna continue like a regular double crochet. You should have three loops on your hook. You're gonna pull through two and pull through two. So now we've just done this one. Remember, we're not working in the tops. We are working on the posts, which is this piece right here. So you wanna wrap your yarn, go from the right to the left behind the post, but the post is in front. That's why it's called a front post. Pull through two, pull through two. Wrap your yarn. Go behind the post. Grab your yarn, pull up. Pull through two, pull through two. Wrap your yarn behind the post. Grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Wrap, go behind, grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. And now you can see these posts are giving a lot of texture right in the front. You also have this ridge on the back. So if you have this ridge, you are doing it right. Okay, grab your yarn behind the post. Pull through two, pull through two. Wrap behind, grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Wrap behind, pull through two, pull through two. Now we have our chain three from the end of the row left. What I like to do, wrap, go right in the big hole created by the chain, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, it just gives you a double crochet at the very end. And you'll have the same at this end with your chain. Okay, so that was the front post. Now let's do the back post. So I like to chain three. I like to chain mine kind of tight. One. Okay, now we've chained three and I'm gonna turn my work. So now, if you can see, here's the post, here's the post, here's the post. There should be a nice decent hole. I mean, I'm using kind of a big hook. This is a six and a half millimeter but you'll still have the, that space there. So now we're gonna work the back post double crochets. We're gonna wrap our yarn. We're gonna go behind our work. We're gonna come in and go in front of the post. So I'm coming in from the back of the work to the right of the post, and I'm going out to the left of the post in the back. So we've pushed the post to the back. Grab your yarn, pull it up. Pull through two, pull through two. So now we're on the next one. Wrap your yarn. Go behind your, I hold my wrap with my finger here. Go behind your work from the right to the left and back out the back. Grab your yarn, pull through, pull through two, Pull through two. Wrap, go behind. Push the post back. 
grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. A little snag here coming out of my ball. Okay. Next one, grab the yarn. So see, I put my finger right where I want my hook to end up. So there, and then I, see, I rest it on my finger and push it right out the back. Grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Wrap, go behind. Pull your yarn up, pull through two, pull through two. All right, I'm gonna keep doing that to the end. And then I'm gonna show you how you can alternate them. So you can use this stitch to give yourself a lot of stitch definition, maybe in like a ribbed brim for a hat or a basket weave. I use it to make patterns. Okay, when you're do, I'm at the end now. And when I get to the end where my chain three is, I don't need to go in the back or anything. I'm just gonna wrap and I'm gonna go in like a regular double crochet. All right, so that's the front and back post. Oh, a little something on my yarn. We're gonna chain three. And I'm just gonna show you, you can switch between them very easily. So I'm gonna start with a front post. Remember the post comes to the front. And then I'm gonna do a back post. So I'm gonna go in from behind, push the post back. Then that little ridge we made before pops to the front. I'm gonna do a front. And now I'm going to do a back. I just want to show you what that looks like real quick. So see, my front posts pop up and the back ones are pushed to the back of my fabric and they'll be popped up on the back side. So it really makes a pretty ribbed texture. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.